In this video, we're gonna talk about how to use a pickup sweeper. Yeah, so this is a very popular attachment uh, we have uh, in, in our rental fleet uh, at all of our locations. Um, we've uh, um, you know, had these for years, and again, they uh, you know, seem to be a, a, a great uh, attachment for not only just sweeping you know, parking lots, uh, driveways, that type of thing, but these are very popular, sent out with our uh, mill heads uh, as well. Yeah. Um, the, uh, uh, they pick up the millings really well, and they are just a very efficient, uh, fast, uh, uh, you know, high-speed sweeper. Um, as you can see in the video, you know, we're you know moving right along with it, and it's picking up the rocks, debris, dirt, you know, that type of thing. Um, it's shown here with our water kit. You can run them without uh, as well. Um, this is just a, a piece that we add on, but uh, you know, great, great attachment. Uh, to explain the, uh, sorry to interrupt, but to explain the operation of this for those of you that don't know. Basically what it is, is just got a motor on either end of a spinning drum and that drum has bristles attached to it. And in this video, they're spinning uh, where it's actually kicking it directly into the bucket. And that bucket on the back, when you go to dump, you can actually reverse the bristles and have all that dirt spinning out and throwing out. Um, but the water kit's almost essential in any operation around, you know, if you're near vehicles or anything like that, because you would cover them in dust. You'll cover homes in dust, all that kind of stuff. So. Um, that's why we also rent the water kit for those that are interested um, to attach to the sweeper. But as far as the types of sweeper, there's actually another open sweeper called an angle broom um, that you can also get, which is just the broom itself. It doesn't have the bucket attachment on the back. And the difference between the two and the main reason you'd want this type of sweeper is you're actually picking up your mess as you go rather right. than just sweeping it off a sidewalk. Per yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, those those angle brooms really work well. Uh, you know, four sidewalks where you have the grass where you can just kick everything off to the side. Yeah. Um, uh, believe it or not, the angle brooms are very popular with uh, snow removal as well. You get just a light dusting of snow and yeah. you just sweep it off to the side. Um, you yeah, know, I think the, the University of Buffalo uses a lot of they those, do. right? Yeah, on their tool kit. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, um, I would say that the pickup sweeper is uh, a more popular attachment than the angle broom due to the mm -hmm. fact that everything is, is somewhat contained. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a great piece for cleaning and sweeping. Um, mm -hmm. And again, not too many, uh, you know, maintenance points. Uh, you have a couple uh, hinges that you have to grease where the sweeper opens uh, when, you, when you dump it. Um, but also, you know, maintaining the, the, the bristles as well. As you can see, as the attachment goes by, uh, behind the, the motor there, there's an adjustment where you can adjust your bristles up and down to help, you know, save the, the wear on them. So, so just making sure that you make sure that you, um, you know, maintain the proper bristle depth so you're, uh, you know, being efficient with the sweeper. And what a lot of people don't know is actually, we were just at the factory recently and the rep was telling us that these pickup sweeps are sweepers, the common misconception is that you need to sweep the bristles as we're doing in this video, that you need to sweep into the bucket because that's what we do with, you know, a, a standard hand broom. But these, uh, the design of these is actually to spin forward so that you're kicking the material constantly in front of you. And um, because of the way that it spins, it actually kicks it into that shield on the front and spins it all the way around inside and throws it into the bucket. Um, so that's really the design of these. Um, I have never used it that way. No. Um, and so I'm looking forward to try that at some point in the future next time I have an opportunity to operate one of these. But um, that's the way they say it's supposed to work. I've okay. never used it that way, so. <laughs> Someone smarter than me says that's yes. the way it's supposed to run. They that say what it does is it wears down your bristles quicker because they're slapping against your uh, cutting edge cutting there. Edge. Um, you know, maybe it wears down your cutting edge quicker just because you're hitting it with the bristles, especially if you have a steel broom. Um, yeah. But I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. something new to try, and if the factory says they designed it that way, then Absolutely. I suppose we should listen to them. <laughs> yeah, if anyone's watching that, uh, that has you know experience in that way. Leave the comments you know yeah, in, you know, in the in the comment section below and tell us you know uh, you know how you feel about that and you know what you found to work well. Yeah, I mean it uh, it's definitely uh, well you see it, these uh, sweeper attachments all over the place wherever you go. So like everybody always has one or is always you know renting one out. So definitely uh, a great tool to have in your fleet. And you can drive forward or backward with these. In this particular video, we're driving forward, trying to demonstrate you know, um, how you can use it so that you're watching what you're sweeping. But most guys, 
um, with these, they drive in reverse, right? They do, and also with the water kit up front, you want that to cover the debris that you're trying to sweep up. So yeah. really when you have the water kit on there, you need to drive forward with it, mm -hmm. especially to help keep that dust down. Is there any way for us to mount that water kit on, you know, say the back of the machine or something like that? Um, that is something we'd have to look into. I'm yeah, not for sure. I know the hose isn't long enough to reach to all the way to the back. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it, it, there, there's... Uh, Plus it's gravity fed, right? So we'd have to... Nope, nope, it has electric pumps in it. It does have an electric pump. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so we could probably do that. You um, can figure something out. Yeah, yeah, it just depends on what a contractor wants. You know, if, if you said, hey, I want to rent a setup for a month or so, and we could... We'll try anything we'll try twice. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as safety goes on this unit, uh, you know, standard standard safety rules apply, you know, keep everybody back. You can see kind of some of the warning decals on the side there. Um, it's not meant to be touched. Uh, I had an employee recently who, um, they were a service technician in the shop, he was testing it and uh, another employee standing near it and he had his hand on it. And I, I about lost my mind on that employee because that's, that those bristles are not gonna stop. If they catch you, that's a hydraulic drive motor. Um, there's tons of pressure on that broom. It's not going to stop, especially if it grabs a piece of your clothing or something. Those are rigid so, bristles, and a lot of them actually alternate between the poly and the steel bristles. So yeah. it, if, it, if it grabs a hold of you, it would, it would just pull you right into the sweeper. So yeah, yeah definitely you know, maintain a safe distance from, yeah. from others and, you know, from buildings, curbs, that type of thing as well, because you don't want to get too close to something and you see the hydraulic motor sticking out on the side. You don't want to break off that hydraulic motor on a curb or a side mm -hmm. of a building, you know, yeah. a concrete pole and stuff. So just making sure you're aware of your surroundings while in operation. Another, another common thing guys will do is you can see that the bucket rides on the top of the asphalt there. If you're on a, a piece, a, you know, parking lot that's got broken pieces of asphalt and stuff, you've got to be very careful with that because if you hit it with your bucket, you're just gonna damage the guy's driveway or you know, maybe you're doing some side work and, and cleaning something up, you could end up making a bigger problem for yourself. Absolutely. So you really gotta be careful with that cutting edge. Um, it's really only there to protect the bucket. It's not there to actually scrape the, the ground. You gotta make sure it's nice and level. Um, and if you are cleaning a piece of pavement that has those broken pieces of asphalt, you're gonna sweep them right up. So you're gonna leave holes in the guy's driveway. So you gotta, be cognizant of that and just really make your decisions based on that. Absolutely. And if you find yourself in a, uh, a situation where you have a new, you know, concrete pad or driveway that you're trying to sweep, um, you know, we do also offer uh, poly cutting edges that mm -hmm. are very, they're, uh, they wear down a lot quicker, but they uh, are much easier on the concrete or the surface that you're sweeping. Yeah, no doubt. All right, yeah, so if you know anything about the sweeper that we didn't cover, as Andrew said, just leave it in the comments for us. Maybe link a video of you doing a sweeping project that might help somebody uh, learn a little bit more about what they're trying to do. And uh, have a great day.